A moment of silence, just meters from where the first atomic bomb ever dropped on a city exploded. Even 79 years on, there were some in Hiroshima who remember the day their city was nearly annihilated. And today, on the anniversary, there's a sense time is running out to make these last survivors' voices heard. At this memorial ceremony in Hiroshima's Peace Memorial Park, dignitaries from around the world are remembering and reflecting on the importance of a world at peace. But Hiroshima survivors' dream of a world free from nuclear weapons feels as far away as it has in decades. As Japan's Prime Minister Kishida Fumio, whose family comes from Hiroshima, said, wars involving nuclear powers continue in 2024. しかし、核兵器のない世界への道のりがいかに厳しいものであったとしても、我々はその歩みを止めるわけにはいきません。Kishida says, as the only country to have been attacked using atomic bombs, Japan has a responsibility to lead the way and to warn of the consequences if nuclear weapons are ever used again. Ethan Chen and John Van Trieste for Taiwan Plus.